What is up, everybody? It is good to be back in the studio so that we can continue our exploration and experimentation, looking at all of our tools in the toolbox and making sure they all work up to snuff in our brand new M1 Apple Mac Mini. And today we're taking a look at battery and the battery library. And as you can see, I've got a kit loaded up right now. Um, so far, so good. You know what I mean? I really haven't gone too much further than that. I'm going to go ahead and rename this track in accordance with, uh, my policy here. And, um, <clears throat> what I am doing is basically just going to load up some kits in the various, uh, in the library, in the file library here. Um, what I really like, which I haven't opened this in quite a while, but I have made a couple of albums with this, uh, instrument. And what I really like about this is that they've got this cool uh, browser that that really um, you know resembles exactly how it works on a machine, which is kind of what I've gravitated towards now for uh, for drum production. But there's absolutely nothing wrong with this. So <clears throat> that's how I like to play uh, across a keyboard. You know, it's it's just how I've learned to do rhythm. Um, I, I do a little bit of acoustic drums as well, but not very much. But um, everything I've learned rhythm-wise has been, has been on a keyboard layout just like this. And this is how I used to make records. I would load up before there was a machine, you know what I mean? Like before uh, uh, they got into that kind of uh, a hardware market, um, they just had battery for the longest time. And this is what I used to use to make records. Um, in terms of uh, uh, electronic drum sounds, it's the best. It's the absolute best. Because you can set it up so that each one of these, first off, you can completely control the sound in any way you can imagine. So you can control the envelope, you can control the EQ of it, the compression effects, all that kind of stuff. But you can also look here, control the key range. In other words, I what I used to say is I used to like, oh, I like the beginning you know, first uh, couple of, uh, you know, tenths of a second uh, attack of this one kick drum. And then I like the body of this kick drum and the tail end of this one. And I used to do the same thing for, you know, I, I would create a stack of kick drums, a snack, stack of snare drums and, and set them all to the same key range so that when I hit a key, it's playing that as an entire sound that I've shaped and sculpted and EQ'd and compressed and glued together. And that's how I used to make drum sounds. It's the best, I think for uh, doing that exact sort of stuff, you know? Um, and all of these kits sound pretty darn good. Um, if we look at percussion, what do we have here? Um, uh, we, looks like we have some missing samples, but they all should be here. Um, so yeah, we'll have to check into that. Um, but, uh, yeah, other than, um, than my obvious, uh, snafus with loading certain sounds from my library um there's there's been no there's been no issues it's working pretty darn well which is pretty rad
Man, man, oh man. Yeah, I don't know about that one, but, um, you know, as you can see, loading up new kits, you know, loading up sounds, it's uh, very fast, very responsive. Um, I do have all my system working on SSD drives at the moment, so it, it is very nice to uh, have that, um, that speed of, of loading all the samples. Um, but, yeah, as you can see also, the software, you've got it loaded up. And it's doing what it's supposed to do. I don't know how to make grooves in this thing, so all these grooves are lovingly played by me. So, um, maybe you guys know how to uh, put grooves and automated grooves into the uh, into the battery software and sort of arpeggiation. To me, that's what machine is. That's what it's exactly what that software is designed to do. So if you want to do that, use machine in my view. But maybe you know how to do that in battery. I'm not sure how to do that. Um, so I just have the, the the kit loaded in here, and I've got my keyboard hooked up. I'm record monitoring, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to record, uh, and I can monitor the uh, sounds that are coming from the instrument in my DAW, and then I'm just putting my hands on the keys, and that's how we're hearing what we're hearing. It's, it's pretty rad that uh, all of this seems to be working as expected, right? It's pretty cool. battery guys battery and um it's working pretty darn well <clears throat> pretty darn pretty darn well i remember this the berlin headquarters this um these must be sounds from the berlin headquarters at, at you know i never understood this at the time but now i get it native instruments is is from germany right they're from berlin all these sounds must be from their Berlin headquarters. It's a fan. The beeper. phone the phone sounds cool where's the phone that sounds cool that i'm not sure what that is fan is that a fan sounds like a buzzer
Well, they do make instruments, so I suppose it stands to reason at the Berlin headquarters of a instrument company that you might have some odd sounds. So, you know, that may, that may make sense. And maybe I'm misunderstanding <laughs> what these sounds are. Maybe these aren't uh, from the Berlin headquarters of Native Instruments, but uh, man, kudos to these guys. And um, I'm glad everything is working well at this stage. Until next time.